So I wanted to make uh, just kind of a crazy X video uh, now that uh, Twitter is now the new X because uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of following now and uh, it's getting kind of crazy. I, I never thought that I'd be a public figure in my lifetime and I'm certainly not really. But uh, I did want to go through a lot of stuff uh, that I'm seeing on, uh, on Twitter uh, and, uh, and so, you know, I, I, let's just, I'll just read you some of my comments. Um, and this was, uh, DD Geopolitics. Uh, that's one of the, um, handles that I follow on, uh, Twitter. And I said, yes, indeed, we are witnessing a realignment of a new world order orchestrated by Russia, China, and India, among others. The West will suffer the consequences. And so what I'm pointing out there is that, uh, you know, we, we have the South African dele delegation, well, I guess it wrapped up, uh, well, let's see, it was Thursday and Friday, so I guess they're all heading back to their African nations. But uh, we're seeing a whole new front to the war. And when I say war, I, you know, I, I, I'm talking about the, um, the Western uh, dominance of the world is coming to an end. I think we're entering into a bipolar world uh, as we see it. So then uh, this was another person, and I felt bad for her. She had, uh, evidently she had people that were there on January the 6th, um, uh, that the Democrats persecuted, and, uh, and, and, and so all I responded was, with my sympathy for your loss has no measures. I have, I have also lost all family and many friends. All we can do is continue life, uh, the life God has given us, and speak truth to power. And so that's kind of what the point of uh, everything I'm doing on uh, X and uh, with my videos is I'm trying to speak truth to power. And a lot of people can't accept it. I tell you what, I, I've lost even more friends <laughs> with my YouTube channel. Isn't that crazy? Because they, they're like, oh my God, what you're saying is it goes against the, the mainstream media narrative. And, uh, and so what we have to do is just continue to, to fight on people. Just fight on and do the best you can. Um, uh, let's get into some tweets here. Let's go, uh, let's go to the tweets you know, I hate doing this. Uh, I think I'm get get here. Profile. Sorry, I'm learning how to do this as I go. Uh, yeah, this was one that I sent to... Uh, by the way, it's got <laughs> 3,000 uh, impressions. I don't know what that means. I said, absolutely. I was alone in the darkness in 2020. I spoke out and was ostracized, ridiculed, and excommunicated. <laughs> and I was from my church. And I'm still uh, hanging, banging away about so many so-called friends. And, of course, now I'm divorced. Uh, my wife left me. So, you know, well, make of that what you will. And then, uh, by the way, check this out, man. Carrie Lake is the number one rap artist in the United States. It says, uh, check it. you got to punch it in. Uh, go to YouTube and search for it. 81 million votes my ass. 81 million votes my ass. <laughs> I watched it, and I was just... I was hysterical laughing at the whole damn thing. It's kind of like the other guy, uh, what was it, Jason, uh, the, the uh, CMT, when they banned him. Oh, my God. People are coming out with some good stuff uh, these days. Um, it's time to mend historical injustice towards the African continent. That was Vladimir Putin. And, uh, and, and so I made a, a comment on that uh, about the fact that, you know, we're seeing a world realignment. Um, you know, right now, I, and you got to give Russia credit. They're fighting the war on multiple fronts. It's not just about guns and, and artillery. Uh, you know, of course, I call them the gods of war, uh, you know, fighting the battles. I mean, it's also political. And uh, Putin is being masterful. He told Africa, and by the way, they were like, I don't even know how many. I mean, I, it, you have to see the videos, but the entire room was filled up with African representatives up in St. Petersburg. And so we're seeing a realignment of the world. It's becoming a bipolar world. The U.S. empire is coming to an end. I'm telling you that right now. So uh, this was a comment that I made, just in case the YouTube censors, which I'm sure they will. Oh, well, they already got me censored. I'm demonetized. You know, if you're watching this video, I did some miracle. But uh, they, they take down my latest video they have done in the past. Here's watching the world burn. Yeah, check out my latest video, July 27th. Uh, on Rumble and uh, the burn, the burn on Rumble, 
Um, you, you might not be able to find me much longer on YouTube. They, they, they got me so far buried in the algorithm, <laughs> nobody can find me. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, by the way, I, of course, if you haven't seen the argument between Jason Hinkle and Piers Morgan, I told him, I said, look, man, you guys just need to have a cage match <laughs> and go up into uh, the wrestling rink and uh, fight things up. Uh, that's been funny. I've been watch I've been following that. Uh, about, yeah, was it yesterday or two days ago? Uh, that uh, And so I, I put this out on X. Uh, Today, Russia destroyed more NATO hardware than most NATO countries can produce in a year. The Russian campaign to disarm NATO continues also in Syria. Because of Syrian gains with Russian help, the United States Empire is sending F-39, F-35 planes and additional resources. Let's see, show more. The African Conference starts Thursday. So, yeah, I just talked about the African Conference. Um, so, uh, let's get to... to, to I, by the way, um, uh, there's been a lot of comments. That the fact that I'm throwing up some Russian television on my channel. Uh, okay. I understand it's Russian propaganda, but do you think MSDNC or ABC or CBS or Fox News are not American propaganda? In fact, they're worse. Telegram, BBC. I mean, you, <laughs> you just, you just got to filter through all the noise and try to find some truth in everything. And I find Russian television to be more truthful than, in, and of course, India. I watch a lot of Hutch, Hutchkinson. How do you pronounce that word? Hutchkins time, Hutchkinson Times. Out of India, you know, so I watch my news everywhere, uh, it, and it's it's kind of a, just a hobby. Uh, yeah, and here's, here's one. I've been talking about the Russian artillery, gods of war, millions of rounds fired during the war. Let's watch a brief video. I put it up on um, Twitter, and uh, and so I want people to understand that artillery is is the, the deciding factor in this um, in this war. So um, let's get back to the replies. Let's see here. How do I do that? Profile replies. There we go. And so, yeah, this was to DD Geopolitics. By the way, that's a, 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 a huge uh, channel I'm following. But, and I'm kind of learning as I go. I got on a, a, a conference, and they actually made me a joint speaker. I was very uh, um, impressed with that. But anyway, yes, indeed, we are witnessing a realignment of the new world order, order orchestrated by Russia, China, India, and among others, the West will suffer the consequences. Uh, this was a person that uh, said they had lost people. January 6th, my sympathy for your loss has no measures. I have lost all family and many friends. All we can do is, can, with the continued life God has given us, is speak truth to power. Uh, Democrats don't agree, but I do. No doubt. Whoops, sorry. Uh Rhinos don't count. Um, this was um, particip participation. Oh, the African summit. And uh, he was talking about that. And I said, yes. Uh, and so. Um, uh, uh, well, this was this was one um, because there's a lot of people on Twitter that have, are in despair. And uh, and so I wanted to reach out to them and say, you know, all you can do is what you can do, right? And uh, so I said, absolutely. I was alone in the darkness back in 2020. I spoke out and was ostracized, ridiculed, and even excommunicated. I'm still here banging away. <laughs> but many so-called friends, and of course, my wife left me. So there you go. Uh, and uh, this was uh, this guy, Frank. Uh, he's kind of trolling me in a way, but I, I appreciate it. He, and he sends good stuff. And uh, this was a video about Putin, or um, uh, the Czech, Czech, Chechnyan leader, and uh, and, and it, basically the Chechnyan leader was saying we need to go uh, whole hog, uh, exterminate Ukraine, and just be done with it. And then I said, no doubt they are very angry <laughs> at the West. Only, but you know what I'm saying is only Putin, love him or hate him, uh, is keeping a lid on things. You know, so so what do you mean? I mean I. I don't know where he's coming from. Uh, he, he seems to hate Putin, but I'm telling you, I, I, if Putin wasn't there, I think we would we would be in a far worse situation in the global global world. Oh, this this <laughs> I'll finish off the video right here. The U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken today requested an immediate release of the disposed 
president of Nigeria uh, and the return to Democrat order. Democrat order? You mean the U.S. empire installed uh, bureaucracy that you had in Nigeria? <laughs> Oh my God, these Democrats are something else, man. And, and, and so we're, we're, we're okay, I'll just read you my comment and, that, and then we're done with this video. So let me see if I have this in perspective. <laughs> the United States Empire is worried about Niger while we are at war with Russia, China, North Korea, and most of the world. This, while our own country faces starvation and homelessness, the Democrats have lost their minds. You can go on for a long time, go on for a long time, go on for a long time, but sooner or later, God will cut you down. Sooner or later, God will cut you down. Don't listen to those globalist liars or those Democrat ramblers, or those rhino idiots. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.